And finally, new rule with Mother's Day and Father's Day coming up. We all must agree that the best gift an American kid can give his parents is to sit them down and say, Mom, Dad, we need some space. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's true I never had kids, but maybe that gives me some objectivity. And what I see in the generation coming up is these kids are more anxious than a squirrel on crystal meth. <laughs> and that's not because the kids have changed. It's because the parents have. They're called helicopter parents because they're always hovering, too protective, too always on the case, too always just there. Now, if we could only get them to work for the Secret Service. <laughs> <clears throat> so, this topic has been much in the news lately because there are now families going against the grain who want to raise their children, guided by the radical concept of occasionally letting them out of their sight. A movement that has been dubbed free-range parenting. <laughs> or as we used to call it, parenting. <laughs> Actually, we didn't even call it that, because parenting wasn't a word, because being a parent wasn't a job description. In the 70s, parenting meant you woke up, went to your kid's room. If they were alive, you were done for the day. <laughs> Crib monitors? Why? What are they going to do, turn into werewolves in the middle of the night? But that's not how most parents see it these days. And there have been cases of free-range parents running up against the law. A couple in Silver Spring, Maryland, has twice had their kids, 10 and 6, picked up by the cops for walking home alone from the park, which is all of two blocks away. Jeez, I walked farther than that to school every day when I was a kid that age and nobody cared. In fact, my mother always looked a little disappointed when I came back. <laughs> I mean, what kind of country do we live in where the sight of a kid walking alone in his own neighborhood requires a call to 911? Were these kids being chased by a clown with his dick out? <laughs> <laughs> then shut up and go back to watching Judge Judy. We're talking about Silver Spring, Maryland. It's not that perilous. The most dangerous thing out in the fresh air is probably the fresh air. <laughs> when did we get this idea that children should never endure even the slightest risk or experience any disappointment? If the ice cream truck doesn't come, the parents panic and double strap the kids in the car and rush over to Baskin Robbins where they disinfect the table and test the cones for gluten. <laughs> Ooh, fun. And for what? A new study confirms that all this excess time with kids is not having a positive effect. Kids, free to engage the world on their own a bit, wind up coming out happier and more creative than the ones who have to put on a helmet to take out the garbage. <laughs> Let the little bastards breathe a little. Do you know that American kids now spend 90% of their leisure time at home? plopped on the couch, watching TV, playing video games. We're not raising citizens, we're fattening veal calves. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all because we think outside is where the baby snatchers are, and inside is where it's safe. Right, inside, where the pornography <laughs> is at their fingertips 24-7. I have news for you. That's the thing that's going to really fuck them up for the rest of their lives. When I was a kid, it was a thrill to find an old Playboy in the neighbor's garage. But now every 10-year-old can whip out his phone and in seconds be looking at a team of Japanese businessmen <laughs> ejaculating on a squid. <laughs> and if that doesn't convince you, parents, nothing will.